to my channel welcome back to vlogmas part three we're on week three already it is fast approaching i feel somewhat prepared for christmas but i definitely don't feel fully prepared anyway in this vlogmas little episode video i am going to my parents for a couple of days actually and tom is coming with me i'm actually going to meet him there because he's traveling from london He's gonna meet me there. That is tomorrow. Uh, but tonight I am heading off to a wreath making class which I booked a while ago now. There's two girls that I know that are going so we're gonna go do that. I made a wreath with Espar at an event last month. So if you saw that vlog you'll know what I'm talking about and I used that wreath for my front door. So initially I booked onto this course expecting it to be for my front door but because I already have one and because I am going home to my parents tomorrow I thought I would make it as a little surprise gift for my mum and dad for their house. And then tomorrow when I set off to go home I am gonna go via Ikea and do a little walk what is in Ikea at Christmas video. There's also a big HomeSense TK Maxx there, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a come shopping with me segment tomorrow, and then spend a couple of days with my family, and Tom is gonna be there, my brother and his girlfriend I think are gonna be there as well. But before I take you along with me to wreath making tonight, I do have a sponsor for this section of the video, teamyblends.com, have very kindly reached out and wanted to collaborate with me on this section of the video. Right, to avoid any mess, I've just moved into the bathroom, put my hair up. I have been trying out the detox mask from Teamy. Its ingredients are organic matcha green tea, lemongrass, which makes it smell quite nice and fresh, and the bentonite clay. So this mask is designed to rid pores of impurities and just leave the skin feeling nice and refreshed. The second product that I want to show you is in my bedroom. I'll show you that in a second, and it is a skin refrigerator which is amazing so this product right now is nice and cold and very refreshing the cooling sensation helps reduce redness and any inflammation you may have the product itself is 100% clean it is organic cruelty free made in small batches and I'm just applying a thin layer all over my entire face but you could easily just apply, um, you know, like spot treatment it on areas of concern. And then I leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes and repeat this process anywhere between one to four times a week. So the superfood ingredients is what helps replenish the skin and make it feel nice and soft. Because it is 100% organic, natural ingredients, it is quite gentle. So it cleans the skin, but it does it in a very nice, gentle way. So I used to suffer quite badly from acne growing up as a teenager so I am quite gentle with my skin and I want to make sure that the products that I use you know aren't too harsh <gasps> guys 10 minutes has now passed look I want to try and like get a close-up of my pores but you can see how it's got into each and every individual pore can you see that <gasps> that's amazing And what I would do now is just go in with my regular moisturizer and then if it's in the morning time, apply my makeup as normal. But it already feels so much softer, detexturized, smoother and oh, amazing. This has also arrived from Timmy, this skincare fridge, which I cannot wait to set up. I think I'm going to set up here for now and then once the spare room is sorted through, maybe keep it in there. So for now, I'm going to get it out and show you what it looks like all set up. Oh, how exciting. Ready for a grand reveal. Ta-da. So this is what the fridge looks like. As you can tell, it has a gorgeous glass marble front, which is very my style. However, if you do decide um, and wish to personalize it, they also include these little stickers. So you can make a bespoke design. You guys know me. I'm just gonna keep it plain and simple. And I think the white marble will look quite nicely up there. And here we have how I am gonna have my skincare fridge set up. So on top, I'm thinking masks, eye creams, moisturizers. The second shelf down, I have cleanser and another serum infused uh, water cream here. Some toners and concentrate serums down the bottom. I'm probably gonna put even more products in there to be honest, because for me, it's really beneficial in that it allows me to try out lots of different products at the same time, you know, and not feel guilty for the fact that I'm not using them every single day. Because by refrigerating them, it actually prolongs the life of beauty products, which I think is amazing. And in particular, 
particular if you do have products like Teamy, which are 100% natural and organic, they are not filled with any kind of chemicals or preservatives. So to be able to refrigerate them is definitely a huge benefit. The coolness of the products helps de-puff, reduce redness, any inflammation. So if that's a problem area of yours, then I would definitely recommend the skin coverage. So I'll leave a link to this below. I just want to say a big, big thank you to Timmy for kind of collaborating with me on this video. And now I'm gonna curl my hair, get myself ready for this evening. I'm so excited to go wreath making. So I, of course, I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. And if you haven't already, make sure you're set by making sure you're comfy, relaxed, you've got yourself a nice drink and some snacks. And let's get on with the rest of this Vlogmas. Before I head out, I thought I'd show you this quick outfit of the day, very quick. This is a boxy t-shirt that I get from Topshop. I have it, I have it in a few colors because I love it so much. A um, Couple of layered up gold necklaces. And then I have the new what I like to call Topshop dupe leather leggings from New Look. They're only $19.99 and sometimes they have like student discount offers and Christmas offers. So $19.99 full price they are. So amazing bargain. And then this coat is from Holland Cooper. And then I have boots on, just like little ankle boots. And then I have my little coach handbag and I'm good to go. minutes spare I've managed to get back in time for I'm a celebrity which is ideal but now as you can tell hair up makeup is about to be taken off I'm gonna get cozy and get comfy in that bed miss Tom tonight but see him tomorrow good morning I ended up being latish night last night at the wreath making I have my wreath there in the back i know my mom is gonna love it and if she doesn't i will have it <laughs> um i finally arrived at a place called leeds burstall which is where i'm popping in to do little ikea shop and browse for ikea at christmas um but before i go in it doesn't open for another half an hour i have parked outside of home sense i literally couldn't have parked any closer <laughs> so i'm gonna have a quick look for any last minute christmasy bits in here christmas gifts wrapping i need to wrap all my presents i might even at some point feature a little like how i wrap my presents because a few of you have asked me how i do that white company style all the christmas stuff still look at that tree that's so funny it's like filled with dog toys this is literally the best home since it has so much stuff. Quite a lot of furniture. Oh, lamps. I've been talking about getting a new lamp. Mm. I quite like the glass. Um, it stands, look, it's still quite dark outside. Oh. That's how early I have arrived. Throws, cushions. This is a cute gift idea. Um, they have quite a few of these actually. Oh, it's been putting upside down, but 7 dollars it's a sleep mist and eye mask. How festive is that little setup here? I've spotted these. I think these would look nice in the tree as like sticking out branches. $2.99, I think I might keep my eyes peeled for these next year though, because obviously our tree is done now. But yeah, I think, um, I think they're all, do I get them now so that they don't go out of stock? But they have loads more as well. They have these gold eucalyptus ones. They have these gold feathery ones.
It was the night before Christmas. I was closing down for business in my little prison shop. When the bell on the door jingled once more, and then time almost came to a stop. But somehow I knew, and maybe so did you, that everything would change from now on. Yes, from this Christmas on, this Christmas on. biggest like basket selection at this one i just feel like this is such a good home since purely because of the amount of stock they have leeds burstall if you're close by to it it's by far my favorite like if i'm stocking up on house furniture bits this is the one i'd come to ever since i've mentioned about the fact that they do la cruise i keep on seeing this color which is the one that i would like this all black and i'm tempted to just start like start buying them already because i feel like it would be when i'm actually starting to look for them that i then won't be able to find them so look they've even got the little mugs this is all the cruise so obviously they've got plenty but it's just finding the black and the white colored ones that are like gold dust in here so obviously these are black and then they have a lot of gray actually gray and baby pink if that's in your theme or like the duck egg blue and the navy blue. Anyway, it is five minutes until opening time at Ikea, so I actually haven't picked anything up from home since today. But Ikea, I've just spotted they have loads of the cream colored mugs as well. Ah. Here we go. Can I get in, can I get in? Ah, we're in. Oh, I see Christmas trees. Oh, set up for like mulled wine, how cute. Spotted a few Christmas decorations out already. I like how they've done it in that little glass dome like that. And how pretty, they've got a Christmas tree. I like these star decorations. These would be a nice white company-esque addition to my tree. And these little pine cones as well, actually. I'll see how much they are when I get to the little market hall bit. Oh my God, these are the best. Yum. They always layer rugs in Ikea. I never think to do it, but I always quite like how they've done it, actually. Um, I like the little like black accents in this room. That lamp's nice, £40. I always said in our next house that we end up buying, I love these like farmhouse-style sinks that sort of go in, like really big and heavy duty, I love them. But I actually do really like black taps, so I think we're pretty set on that as well. I actually saw this lamp on this morning, £150, it's been designed with Sonos, so that 
connects the actual lamp is a speaker which I think is a pretty cool idea. I like what they've done, they kind of copied that whole white company style by having a vase and putting little decorations on it and hanging them off these twigs. I wonder if they sell these twigs actually because I would like to copy that idea. I have some festive wrapping, red baubles and little mini like poinsettias here and they have the tea lights and then I always see every year they have these little lanterns but they've actually got them in red as well so if you've got like red accents in your home throughout Christmas spot of gingerbread oh that's cute you can create a little scene I think they've got if they've got like a gingerbread house set I think I might get one love how they've decorated these little shelves £12 for that jug I've got like a matching little one here and then this doesn't have a price on it but that is really nice I actually have these wicker things they come in a set of three for about £7 so yeah I quite like how they've done that and I love how they do all the stackable books but this little tip if you've got books put them that way around so that they're all the same colour or if they've got like a paper cover turn the paper cover inside out Oh, this kitchen looks dreamy. <gasps> How nice. They have one in white as well, one of these speakers. I think this would go better with our decor, but they are such a cool idea. love how they've used these trolleys you get them in the bathroom section but they've used it as kind of like a beer or drinks cart with glasses on and then I love this garland along the fireplace and we actually don't have one yet spot some nifty wrapping idea if you just get some of this fabric you can see they've put some in that um, thing there with some cookies and as home decoration that looks quite nice but if you're wrapping up like a candle or some kind of food that's quite a cute way of wrapping up I don't know if this is yeah that has to be fake yeah they all are I wonder if I wonder if they sell these so I think they'd be really nice on white wrapping paper they have some new colors of this trolley 35 39 sorry they also have this new one at only 25 pounds which I actually prefer 19 pounds this is it says new lower price i don't know what they were but they're really nice sort of side tables but also baskets you can throw in cushions and throws i love the tiles they've used in this bathroom and also even just how they've like designed it i didn't know they sold bathrobes 25 pounds little open shelves there yeah i love these tiles and there's me <laughs> I'm loving this bedding. It is corn valamo. Oh, that's the actual pillow, is it? I like the piping though, and I love how it kind of contrasts against this linen material. Love that colour. In the mattress section, and there's a fact that says that on average we spend 27 years of our life asleep. That's crazy. Okay, so this is new, four piece bathroom set I'm not quite sure what it is oh right this oh, it kind of looks like a jewelry tray could argue white company dupe the minimal white design of these you could put um, maybe like three in the shower one with shampoo conditioner and body wash and put little dymo labels on they're only one pound fifty I quite like them but I just don't really have a place for them love these gold trays I feel like they'd be a nice um, tray to have like as a center console with candles on or something I always feel super cozy in this like rug section it's oh my god it's amazing uh, we actually have a few of these I really like them 29 pounds they used to be 30 so they've dropped in price even if it's just by a pound but anyone that is interested this is the rug we have in our front room so it's called the 
low owls rug and it is 80 pounds but i think i got it in the bargain corner for 50 because i don't remember paying 80 unless there's a different size i'm trying to find out if this is the cushion cover cushion pad inner 60 i don't know if that's the inner cushion or if i need to get a cushion cover for i don't know i don't know whatever it is it's six pounds but if it is the actual cushion i might get that yeah i think it is cushion pad inner six pounds i like the size of them so i might get a couple for our bed that's nice as well actually I think I'm right in saying that these are the linen cushion covers I saw. Uh, they're £10. They have some cute fairy lights, different festive ones. You can see in the windows there, like some little snowmans. Then they have these paper stars, which they've had a lot hanging around as well. I'm not sure what this is, but I think it's some kind of snowflake hanger as well. Oh, here we go. Oh, and it lights up. They have these little, I don't know if they're, are they candles or just decorations? Oh no, they are candles. £2.50. Favourite section by far is this little like market hall area. Oh, this is the bars they were using with the twigs. Oops, £15. Oh god. This one is huge. That'd be a nice like statement piece if you had some open shelving units maybe just like a stem of eucalyptus in 19 and then i always spot these me and my mum both love this but what we don't like is the blue stripes oh that's that vase from earlier 10 pounds that one i think these are the twigs that they use but they must have just cut them down as well they have some of these nice glass domes with the wooden base or the cloche type um dome that you can put over your candles small ones four pounds and then these bigger ones are eight cute little reindeer in black like a little decorative ornament very festive they always have loads more like lanterns and candlesticks i quite like this set of three the way that they're all different sizes and just plain minimal black or they have the cream and gold set for 17 again for a set of three i have spotted this actually it's only 350 they have loads of different lanterns which I think always adds a like festive element to a home. And they have the most ginormous pillar candles. So you could do a decorative tray set up like that. I love these minimal white candlesticks as well, candle holders. And I've seen this cute little star dish which is only a pound. I think these are the pine cone. Oh no, are they? Oh no, they're little hedgehogs. Oh, that's so cute. Again, three set of three candles. Oh, these are the pine cones. They come in a set of two. I've noticed on some of their festive edition candles, they have like a gold trim, which I think is perfect for my decor, uh, but I just don't need any more candles right now. And then they have these cute little tea light votive candle holders. Oh, these cute little baby trees. It must be in the outside section, but I have read that Ikea is selling Christmas trees for 29 pounds and then you get a 20 pound voucher to spend in january okay so we've hit a little festive section right at the end then they have loads of baubles color coordinated so silver gold and red they are 15 pound for the big ones i actually don't rate these you know i think stick with the range same with the trees that's a really small tree it's £27 and the one that I got from B&Q was 30 with a £5 voucher off. I do love how they've shaped that LED light thing into like a Christmas tree. That's a good idea. Then they have all these little domes with different fairy lights in as well. You can see them all on display at the top. They have these little star dishes in red as well. They have these display lights. I quite like these box lights that they've got. I like the Christmas tree and the star one. Little wrapping station with all the different wrapping papers. Quite a lot of red ones actually. And then they've got the standard sort of brown and white ones which I like. None that I'm blown away with though to be completely honest. A couple of gold and silver gift bags. But I'm just going to check out the bargain corner and then head back 
I think, via Starbucks. Always love a bargain, so I have to check this section out, obviously. They sell a load of like X display items. Okay, yeah, on the exit you can see they receive a £20 voucher when you buy a Christmas tree for £29. And they have a whole tent full of them for you to choose from. That is a really good offer, maybe even just to keep your eyes peeled for, for next year. So there's Ikea and I've just realised what used to be, uh, it's just there, what used to be Toys R Us. I was thinking Toy, Toy Story, Toy Story, no, Toys R Us, which is now obviously gone is now a huge range so i don't have time today but for future now i know it's there i'm gonna be stopping in right quick starbucks starbucks pit stop oh the weather outside is frightful and the stars so delightful i don't know the words ah it smells of uh the pine from the wreath every time i get in the car it's amazing i hope she'll love it i'm sure i say she because let's be honest housey gifts are probably more for mum than they are for dad anyway gingerbread latte i went for mm. that'll keep me company for the next hour on the road little festive edition Starbucks and I actually went for a lemon loaf which I don't think I've ever had from Starbucks before I think we are here yay we're here Repford train station hi Tom sorry I can't get to the phone where is he he found me he was just about to Get out and come and find you. Yeah. You can't. It wasn't that. It's a bit. What did tell me what your police policeman sent you? Trainman. Oh, Wetford. You can't just say that. You're now arriving at Wetford. That's what he said. No, but what did he say? Tell the story. Well, that is the story. You said Jonathan Ross. No, because he can't say he's ours. Oh, I thought you said he said Jonathan Ross, as Jonathan Ross would say, Watford. No, he oh. properly can't say his R's. Oh, I thought so, you meant he was taking the piss out no, of no, Jonathan so, Ross. No, <laughs> he just literally can't say his R's, so we are, we are arriving at We are Watford. arriving at Watford. Yeah, that again, Watford. But Once this, more, Watford. It did sound like Watford as well, it was funny. Right, I actually don't know my route from here to mm -hmm. home. Why? Because I've never driven from. You, you don't come through. You're all now already then. They're at, they're all at home. Well, not all. Yeah, mum and dad are at home. <laughs> I'm going to take you through my computer, but. I thought. I wondered why you didn't bring your computer. It's big in it. I don't want to carry that round. Uh, my my arms here. <sighs> For what? Because I've been carrying that bag. Oosh. Games. <sighs> Do you have a fun night? Do you have a spun there? I need to sneeze. Hi. To stuff it. Yeah, Prime Marnie. Shh. Shh. I said Prime Marnie. Tom's on the Yorkshires. Do a little Christmas house tour. Oh, in fact, I've got your Christmas card. Now, I'm never sure whether or not to put eggs in the fridge or not. I always do. I'll leave them to that. I've got Santa on the steps, reindeer, garland. <laughs> They're having a big debate on whether or not Diet Coke's better than Pepsi. Oh, it's so festive in here. Oh God, look at this. It's my graduation picture, if anyone's interested. And then that is my brother's graduation picture. Moving on, some stockings, some fairy lights, another pretty fireplace. Has anyone tried Joe Loves? I've just tried Joe Malone, I've never tried this before. And then we have the Christmas tree, which mum always insists on having one red bauble we have another christmas tree which has some nice glass black silver baubles on i'm flashing red so battery's gonna go need to go put it on charge and then this is the room we're staying in which i feel like old school people that were here when i first started my youtube channel will remember me sat here on this bed 
filming my videos. Who remembers? Let me know in the comments below. I'll be very impressed. For those of you that were here from then. This is my bathroom. All very nice. This, which I never really like, but it's kind of snazzy. And off. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go chill out downstairs for a bit, put this on charge, and check in with you guys in a bit when we have a yummy dinner tonight. Turkey Christmas dinner, I'm so excited. Christmas So food is prepped, we've got sprouts, potatoes, carrots and parsnip, oh no, what's that? Carrots and? Oh, there are two types of carrots. Oh, yellow carrots and parsnips. And then we have the turkey about to go in as well. Aya! Hello, someone's a little bit hungover. I'm actually not, I'm fine. Just tired. You're tired. <laughs> I am actually. I'm snoozing. Get the fire on in a minute and then we'll be asleep. I don't know if you're going to. Oh, yeah, you can kind of see. I turn the lights off in this back bedroom because if you can see those red and green lights, they scatter on the back wall, which I think is so cool. You can get them from eBay. What are we making here, Tommy Lord? Gravy. Fine crosses and stuff like that, or whatever. So, Samuel really good. He's really, really nice. He's really, really nice. He's, he's missing. <sighs> yeah. Is that the guy that hosted? No, not him. The, the several. It's a different guy. The guy is she. There he is. He is. Oh, Josh. <laughs> well, I'll choose your dad. Yay. Well, What's thank that? you all Raspberry. for being here. Yeah. Thanks for cooking. Over there. Woo! That one just pull it, pull it, pull that. I've got a fidget spinner, I've or whatever they're called. <laughs> what does Father Christmas do when his elves misbehave? I heard this on the radio yeah, today. The he gives them the sack. Oh, 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 oh. oh. oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> what was that? I'm glad I sat here. <laughs> it, it's it's alright. Have you heard that phrase, revenge is sweet? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. I'm like halfway through makeup right now, but it's time to head down for breakfast. Ooh, a cheering. Are they away? No. Oh. So we are at some friends. We're going to go see their donkey first. Say hello to, and it's called Donkey. In fact, follow it on Instagram. Little Donkey. Is that what it is? Little Donkey one. Are you tired? Oh. And we are then, Tom is going flying. Are you excited? Yeah. You can He's nervous. Pull He's nervous. He's nervous. He's nervous. Little do dog. Yeah, I do. You do good. <laughs> so you can have an apple. <laughs> Got a treat for you, donkey. He's so little. Does he? Oh, he's literally eating it out my hand. Believe that that string keeps him in. Well, it's electrocuted. I was gonna say he just touched it then, and he's fine. He's so cute, isn't he? Little donkey. I know it's just <laughs> you hold it whilst I bite it. <laughs> I've never said anything like that. I'm just taking a chunk out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh. He's, he's so cute. Can you pull? <laughs> Thinking about it. Donkey, where's your ball? Hey, he's coming back. Come Go on. on back. Run, 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 run. Yay. <laughs> he's off. Hello. <laughs> Clever boy. Clever boy. Retford Gamston Airport. We are here. He's got his passport. He's had his bags checked, under 100 mils. <laughs> We're ready to fly. This is what you'll be in, something like that. In fact, no, smaller than that. Put one of these on. Put your hard vis on. Right, we'll take it off. We're getting, it's not cool, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Mic check, one, two. Testing, Roger. testing. Roger, and over. We are coming into land. Get that bad boy. Why I just said get that bad boy on and you said look at these bad boys. <laughs> yeah! Right, Tom's taking over the vlog now. Are you confident in this? Maybe get a take off and a bit of a landing? We'll see. Jack, I mean Tom. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> I didn't <get> that. <laughs> um, we're just trying to set up before it gets dark, but the sun is setting. And we've lost in the AC. Well, you need to play the screen, yeah. Did you enjoy your little flight experience with my dad? As his Christmas present. I'm officially in the line for top one three. <laughs> he took control of the plane as well, didn't you? You nice big boy. I did a loop de loop. No, we didn't do loop de loops today. I did. No. Um, I think we are going to get home and then. To... Maybe we start doing some smuggling now. Oh my god, can you fly a little plane? Yeah. <laughs> no. Then when we get back, the footy is on United Plane, so we'll get that on the television. I have a bit of. Should we have a little takeaway tonight? Mm. I don't feel like I need a takeaway. Oh. I'm going to watch the day of the fighting as well. Yeah, but that's at 10pm. Mm, you can get out a little bit earlier. Huh? You need to get out a little bit earlier than that. Look how teddy I am, look, for your hustle offices. Oh, yeah, Give me a hug. Oh, oh, oh. Cold hands. Oh, sorry. I didn't know where to put it. Yeah, not there. <laughs> Um, we just sat waiting for the tray. Look how massive I look. <laughs> massive, bro. Massive. And hey, what's that song, Thrift Shop? That's how I feel right now. You look like you're from Thrift Shop. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> right, go on. So why don't you want takeaway tonight? And what are we having? 
try. Get some of the pub while we're watching the fight. That's at 10 p.m. We'll go out a bit earlier than 10 p.m. though. Not if you're going to like skip it. Skip right, we're back on the road. Yeah. We'll see you when we're back anyway. Yo. Thrift shop. Only got twenty dollars in my pocket. Ah, ah, I'm fronting. What? Ah, ah, I'm fronting. Looking for a camel. This is fucking awesome. I'll wear your granddad's clothes. I look incredible. And there's from from the thrift shop down the road. <laughs> Yorkshire? Here we are. No. Where are we then? This is North Yorkshire, isn't it? No. North Yorkshire? No. South Yorkshire then? No, I think we're in there. Uh... Go on, tell me where we are. Derbyshire. I actually don't know because when I put on the address I never put the county. DN postcode, so Doncaster. Maybe it is South Yorkshire. Straight on. No, left. Need to give you right, okay, bye. Hi there, what can I get for you? Can I get an Americano, please? An Americano, is that medium? Yeah, fine. Yeah, would you, you like milk? No, thank you. No worries. Anything else for you? Uh, a small decaf. A small decaf. Gingerbread latte. Gingerbread latte. With skimmed yeah, milk. Cream? Skim milk and whipped cream, please. No Can I get a chocolate chunk cookie as well, please? And a chocolate chunk cookie. Yeah. Is that everything for you? Thank you. Do you want to go down for me? Yep. That is what I'll do. <laughs> yeah. I thought so. That intercom's rubbish. I can hear that. Oh, is it? Barcode up to her. Do you want the receipt? No, thank you. No worries. There's a cookie for you. Thank you. Have a long drink. Thanks. Yes, please. Uh -huh. Is that one for you? Thank you. Yeah. What do you rate that out of ten? That cookie. Six, ten. Mm. Six and a half. Not the best, but. Tasty nonetheless. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. See you Bye. I'll see you in a minute. I'm just gonna pop it for we. Yeah. <laughs> cheers. Cheers with our little festive cups. What are we on? No, no. No, no. Tom's got the football on. We are back home. And I'm fully in the Christmas spirit here because for dinner, I ended up just running out to the shop and getting us a load of picky bits so we've got these pita chips they are amazing some oh <laughs> some cheeses crackers these sweet chili things are delicious as well some cucumber <laughs> cucumber which i'm going to cut up so we can have with um oh, i forgot to get hummus you were joking no i did get pate though so we can have that instead, and loads of different cheeses. I've got you some borsan, Ritz crackers, and then we've got some Man United one, which meant he's in a great mood. So he's headed out to watch the boxing with the boys now, which, I mean, I had an invite, but I was like, I'm gonna politely decline that one, um, and open advent calendars with you guys, obviously. That would be my first choice anyway. I have this one to open first, the Beauty Expert Collection. You know, we have all of these bottom ones to open and then this 12 day calendar is done. Let's go with number nine. Ah, it's a peeling mask. This is from the brand, is it Eco King? Box number 10. Is this Balance Me? Yeah, I recognize the packaging. This is the Hyaluronic Plum Pink Primer. Number 11 is from Avant Skincare, and this is a sumptuous glycolic acid hand balm. Box number 12, and the last one of this, <gasps> it's a good one. It's from Elemis. It is the Pro Collagen Overnight Matrix. This is really hydrating, and definitely one that I'm gonna keep to one side until I finish my last moisturizer. Night moisturizer. I don't 
I can't wait to start using it. Okay, this next one is L'Occitane. This is the really uniquely built one. And it is a shampoo. No, it's not. It's a shower oil in the almond range. Number 10 up here. Woo. And it is a light comforting cream. Number 11. This is the almond hand cream. In 12, there is a woo, conditioner. In 13, we have an... Oh, I've never seen this before. Ultra thirst quenching cream. 14, cherry blossom hand cream. Last but not least for this week, number 15, we have a soap. Next up, we have... Kiehl's. Number nine is down here and it is a Clangular Serum Infused Water Cream. I actually have a full size of that and I love it. Ten, we have a lip balm. Number 11 is down here. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a Midnight Recovery Eye Cream. 12 is a creme de corps. That's quite a generous size, actually. 13, unlucky for some. We have an ultra facial toner. 14, down here at the bottom, we have a Centella Sensitive Seeker Cream. And last but not least for this week, <gasps> yay! A little mini ultra facial cream. Look fantastic. And then the last one I have is Glossy Box. <sighs> okay. In number nine, we have an Oscar London Renaissance Cleansing Gel. Number 10, there is a Facial Radiance Pads. Number 11, we have, oh, an Avant Skincare Moisture Surge Overnight Treatment. In number 12, we have an Ageless, oh, Throat and Decolletage Cream. 13, down here. It is a Lord and Berry Eye Pencil in Travel Black. In 14, we have from Mellow Cosmetics, a matte liquid lip paint in Tehran. And last but not least, number 15. Ah, oh, I've had one of these before and actually really liked it. It's a Dragon's Blood Lip Mask from Rodeo. Okay, and the last advent calendar we have and closing off this weekly vlog here. Look at my hair, look at the state of me. Sorry, guys. Number nine. Oh, God, I can't get it out. <gasps> Mitchell and Peach bath oil. Oh yeah, nice and light. Number 10. Matte Me, it is a ultra smooth matte lip cream. I've never heard of this brand before. Oh no, <laughs> it's from Sleek Makeup. <laughs> Number 11 is down here, can you see that? Yeah. Ooh, from Living Proof, we have a perfect hair day in shower styler product. Number 12, up here at the top. Winky Lux Universal Brow Pencil. 13, I'm lucky for some. Ah! I knew I was gonna drop it, it was like slow-mo. It is from Dr. Dennis Gross Professional Grade IPL Dark Spot Concentrated Serum. Okay, number 14. We have from Mina. This is one of their cream eyeshadows in 313. 15. Toothpaste. What a little product to end on. <laughs> toothpaste. Woohoo! I actually needed a new toothpaste, so that comes in handy. I'll probably use that tonight. Anyway, that is going to close off this week's Vlogmas. I hope you enjoyed a little trip home with me. I will obviously be going back home to my parents for... Christmas itself. I hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I will hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.